สวัสดีค่ะผู้นสวัสดีค่ะ is how women say hello in Thailand and men say สวัสดีครับ and ผู้น means friend <laughs> in my last letter I told you about my amazing adventure in Zimbabwe where I visited one of the seven wonders of the world danced and sang to the heartbeat of the earth and met a new friend Sunny the giraffe I felt a bit hungry, and so I popped off to somewhere I heard people say is amazing, Thailand, the land of smiles, famous for its noodles, amongst other things. I slipped on my rainbow slide, and then I was magically there. Ooh, I love the awesome powers of being a unicorn. The air is warm and damp. The breeze feels soggy as well. I hear the chirping of many different kinds of bugs, some high and fast. Some slow and intermittent. There are many smells that cross my nostrils: food, ocean, jungle, traffic, and animals. The sun is bright and clear, creating a crystal sheen to my view. I wander around, taking in the sights of the food carts, smelling wonderful, coffee stands, little shops, and massage places filled with happy and relaxed people. There are colored flags leading up long paths to temples offset from the road. Some of them have very small and long stairs with golden figures glinting at the top. There are different statues in these temples, but all of them are decorated with flowers, open soda bottles, and fruits. There are also a lot of tiny houses that look like temples. They too are adorned with soda. Beautiful outfits hung outside of the tiny house temples as well. I was looking at the beauty of the many statues when I felt myself being watched. Huh? Humans can't see me. What is this sensation? I looked around and noticed a dragon smiling at me. Hello, creature. It is wonderful to see another magical being. My name is Naga. Hello. I said delightfully, for it would be wonderful to make a new friend. My name is Genuine, and I come from the land of rainbows. I love to learn about new things. Will you tell me a story? It would be my pleasure and delight. Let me start with some information. The Naga is the sacred Thai dragon. They are placed in pairs on both sides of the staircase entrances to most Buddhist temples. This is because the Nagas are protectors; they are water spirits. I am a being of supernatural powers. I bring water and protect the temples, for I am very old and wise. The home of the Naga is at the border between the human world and the nether world, similar to your world, for we are neighbors behind the veil. Perhaps it might interest you to Google a Naga fireball. Wow! You make fireballs? That's amazing! My magic power is glitter and enthusiasm. I help others through encouragement. We unicorns believe kindness matters because it's what makes people feel seen and welcomed. I said. The Naga replied, "Oh, that sounds wonderful." We Nagas are Buddhist dragons. Thai people follow the teachings of the Buddha, a king that lived long ago, who gave up his royal status to become a monk. After sitting beneath the Bodhi tree for many days without food or water, he had a spiritual realization about the meaning of life and his place in it. After that, he traveled, sharing his revelations of love, kindness, peace, and humility. The Buddha also believes kindness matters. I think the two of you would be great friends. Well, me too, I said. I wandered into town the next morning to discover a city-wide water fight. <laughs>
Whoa, yeah, that's true. Cars and trucks had people with super soakers in them, dousing other people on scooters, on motorcycles, while joyful, festive folks stood on the side of the road. There was much excitement to be soaking everyone in sight with water. This merriment went on all day with live bands, food carts, and ice cream. There was also fountains of water spouting into the air everywhere. In the center of the town square celebration, I saw a raised block with red material and many gold figures that people came up to, bowed, poured water on, and placed a flower upon. I recognized the gold figures as the Buddha. These people were honoring their ancestors and the Buddha with these gestures. The people celebrate the Buddha in many ways, and being that it is oh so hot in April, what a better way to celebrate his birth than with a countrywide water fight lasting almost two weeks. There were painted elephants in parades alongside statues and much splashing. There is so much cheer and merriment here. These people must be unicorns. At night, the people gathered outside with paper lanterns, which they lit and flew into the sky, along with all their neighbors, friends, peers, colleagues, and community. The sky was filled with hope, wishes, thanks, and prayers. They ate, laughed, and gathered together all night. As I wandered around the far reaches of the north and south of Thailand, there was something I continually saw along the way. There were brightly colored boxes with the symbol 7-11 above, with sliding reflections of light that would bing, open and closed. Sometimes these places were right across the street. I tapped into my amazing powers of information and learned that there are over 11,000 7-11s in Thailand, and 8,000 of them are in the capital city of Bangkok. Have you ever seen a 7-11 around? I am so happy to write you these letters and tell you of my adventures around the world. Unicorn's superpower is enthusiasm, so maybe you'll catch my spark for adventure. I hope you might write me sometime, my dear friend, and tell me how you are and where you are. Until next time, be kind, be active, be curious, and keep being the amazing you. Your biggest fan, Genuine the Unicorn.